welcome back to my channel and if you're new what's up my name is vna strick thank you so much for being here so today we're doing another one brand tutorial i do have a couple of those so i will leave them in the cards up top and i'll also just leave them in my description box if you're interested in seeing more one brand tutorials i love these videos so today as you can see by the title i did do maybelline and i am digging this look. I hope that you're digging it too. Um, the main star of the show was definitely this guy right here. This is the new Soda Pop palette. I wanted to review this and I decided just to do a full face because why not? So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you do enjoy this video, you know what to do. Please make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my awesome squad. And today's post notification shout out goes to Pamela. Pamela, thank you so, 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 so much for, she deserves a lot of them because she's so sweet. She's been one of my subscribers from the beginning. Thank you for all your support. I love you very, very much. And the shout out was for you today. Duh, what? If you want to be my next post notification shout out, all you have to do is turn them on and comment when you are done. Let's get into the video. Alrighty guys, so I wanted to let you guys know that what? What am I trying to say? Damn, I just started the video and I already don't know what I'm saying. The inspiration behind this video was this palette. This is a new Maybelline Soda Pop palette. I've already swatched it, but I haven't actually tried it on my eyes. And I, I know that there are already a lot of review videos solely on this palette. So I was like, let's just do a full face of Maybelline. Let's just do it. And then let's try this out. So I think I'm just going to use a Maybelline Master Conceal. This is such a high coverage like full coverage from the drugstore. There's only two products in this whole video that this will be a first impression on. Everything else, I will tell you guys my thoughts because there's a lot of products in here that I love. So if you do want like a little bit of a thicker, high coverage concealer, the Master Conceal is really good. Let me show you guys up close what the palette looks like. This is the packaging, it's really cute. And these are all the shades. Okay, so here are all the swatches, as you guys can see, it's a nice mix. It looks like there's mattes, satins, and shimmeries. I mean, so far the pigment looks amazing. I think I'm gonna go for a more wearable, but super glam kind of look. With a fluffy brush, I'm just gonna go in with this shade, which is called Chilling. And I'm just gonna kind of run that on my crease. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the shade Crushing, which is this like really bright orange shade. And just put that right under, just to start warming up the look. Okay, so, so far so good. It seems like they are working pretty well. So with the same uh, brush, by the way, this is the JH33. I'm just going in with Coke Float and I'm just gonna furtherly, furtherly, deepen it up. The colors don't seem to be chalky or anything and they are pigmented and they're not coming off like too, too pigmented or too faint either. It seems like this might be a really easy palette to work with. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and I'm gonna take the shade Cherry on top and I'm gonna put that in the inner and outer corners. We are gonna be doing a halo eye. I know I said this was wearable, but I mean, who, what's the real definition of wearable at this point? So I'm gonna try this little technique where you make the halo cut bigger on the upper side and then it kind of gets a little bit small. I don't know how good that's gonna go, but I'm just gonna try it out. And now I'm gonna go in with the shade Soda Fizz and I'm gonna take a little brush to do that. And this is a beautiful like, champagne shimmery shade. I'm just gonna put that on top. The shade is pigmented, but it is a little bit um, like crumbly. And now I'm gonna go in with a little tiny brush and start taking that cherry on top shade again. 
and just start kind of diffusing the edges. Okay, so I'm gonna line my eyes and then put on these lashes. These are the Ardell Wispies, but they're the foam mink ones. Okay, so lashes are on. Now let's do some brows. Um, this, actually, I'll show you guys. I just ran out of it. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer, and I got it in the shade Medium Brown. I have been so obsessed with this. I mean, you guys know that I have my eyebrows microbladed, but I still like to obviously darken them up, especially when I'm doing looks like this. So I did buy a new one. I've had this pencil for a very long time, and I stopped using it for a while. And I'm talking like a very long time. And the reason why I love it so much is because it never dried out. It looks exactly like the ABH Brow Definer, which I love. And it does have a little ball spoolie in the back. So what I'm gonna do now is just fill in my brows. Um, as you guys can see, very easy. It looks good. It's very creamy. The colors are really, really nice. And I actually use this every single day. That's why I bought a new one. I'm not just using it for the video. I actually love it. So, okay, moving on to the face. We are going to be using one of my favorite, all, like, favorite primers. Not just Maybelline. And if you guys watch my channel, you know what it is. This is the Maybelline, obviously. This is the Master Prime Primer Base Blur and Pore Minimizing Primer. And this has been my favorite for a while now. I actually like it more than the Smashbox one, the Smashbox Pore Minimizer. I just feel like this is one of the better um, like silicone primers because, I don't know, I kind of like it more. It's a little bit thinner than regular pore filling primers, like silicone ones. And this just like makes your skin feel like, I've said this before, like velvet but not dry like it's just really really makes your skin feel so soft and like I don't know if you guys can already tell but like it really does like blur I love it and for foundation we're gonna be using one of my favorites I didn't even think about it but I feel like Maybelline has to be one of my favorite like drugstore brands because when I was when I thought about this video I was like okay what do I need to get and I'm like wait a minute I have so many Maybelline products that I use every day so I love these and I love this product as well. This is the Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation and I have it in the shade 220 Natural Beige. This is so good and yes, I have tried the the Matte and Poreless one, which I also think that one's very good. I just think this is just looks even prettier and it has a pump, so that's nice. Mine's like really crusty because I do use it a lot. Wow, this matches me perfectly. I do have um, normal to dry skin and it is definitely like a matte foundation, but it looks beautiful. It doesn't look cakey. Like it's just, it's such a nice foundation and you could always just use like a uh, moisturizing primer under, which I usually do, especially with this foundation but I didn't just because I don't have one that's like moisturizing from Maybelline. I go in with the Instant H Rewind and I have it in the shade Medium. And I'm just gonna put that all over where I want to highlight and then if we, by some reason, need more coverage, I'll go in with the Master Conceal. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna need the other concealer. I just put way too much on, but let's just blend this out. I do like this a lot. I like it because the it still gives you good coverage, but the consistency is thinner than this one. This is a lot creamier, this is thinner, so it kind of just depends on what you like. Wow, I forgot how good this concealer was. I haven't used it in a long time. That literally blends out so easy because it's thin, 
but it's not like very wet of a formula so it's like the coverage is there and it blends out so easily but I don't know I honestly I mean there's a reason why this is a cult favorite another cult favorite one of my cult favorites is this setting powder this is my favorite I use it every single day and I love it this is the fit me loose powder and I use the shade fair light um, the shade fair light is really the most like yellowish tone that's why I really like it For bronze and or contour, I have both of these products. Guys, I have to tell you something. This is really nasty and janky because I've had it for a while, but this is the Fit Me like compacted powder in the shade Coconut. And the reason why I have this is because I used to set my face with this. Like legit, I used to set my whole face with this. This is a bronzer. I mean, it's not, like this is for darker girls and guys, but like for me, this would be a bronzer and I used to set my face with it. So kind of embarrassing, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and just like contour a little bit with this and then go in with this and like bronze. To bronze and blush, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Master Contour face contouring kit and I have the shade medium to deep 220. Okay, so I'm gonna be, even though this is actually a contour shade, I'm gonna use this as, as bronzer. I've actually never used this before, but my mom has it and she's obsessed with it. Oh sh, that's pigmented. Okay, it was definitely very dark at first because I put way too much on, but it's a nice shade. It's very pigmented. Okay, and for blush, I am going to be using the blush in this palette as well. This is pretty. This is actually a little bit shimmery. I definitely think these are cool. Like, I mean, if you need a contour, bronze, blush, highlighter palette from the drugstore, I think it was... Uh, like ten dollars or less and um, really pigmented so I do have the Maybelline master chrome highlighters and I already know I love those so what I'm gonna do is go in with this highlight first and depending how it goes then I'll go in with the other highlight so this is definitely beautiful and pigmented and it's pretty the only thing I have to say is that the um, the molten gold let me grab it so i can show you guys these are definitely a little bit more creamy this is a little bit more powdery but it still looks beautiful on the skin but this is a bit creamier so i'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other cheek and then go in with the chrome there's nothing wrong with this highlighter i just like this better but if you want a kit just get this it, it, it's really nice so again i am using the shade molten gold which is like the original one is see how much blinding it just gets with this like it's so beautiful obviously I have way too much highlighter on right now but you know for the purpose of the video yeah this definitely just like clings onto your skin more but like in a good way like it's more creamy damn Maybelline has come out with such good products Alrighty, we are glowing. Yes, girl. I'm just kidding. I can't I can't be like that. I, it doesn't come naturally to me. Let's just finish out the lower lash line. So what I'm first going to do is just take that shade called Cherry on Top, which is that matte purple kind of like violet -y shade. And I'm going to put that with a small brush really close to my lash line. And then what I'm going to do is just take a smaller but blendier brush and I'm going to take the shade Crushing and Cola Float, which is the brown and the orange, and I'm just going to blend that out. Okay, and for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in with the shade Tonic and I'm going to highlight the inner corner, but I think I'm going to get it wet. I like a really bright inner corner highlight. I just wet my face. That's pretty. I mean, it's not super blinding, but it's a pretty shade. Okay, now going back in with my Total Temptation Mascara, I'm just going to coat my lower lash line. Alrighty, and for lips, I'm going to be using the Super State Matte Ink, and I have it in the shade Seductress. The 
the formula is really good it's like it goes on really creamy almost sticky but like in a good way like you can control it like I just overlined my lips with no lip liner with this it's really pigmented and then once it dries down it does last a long time so I definitely love this it's one of it's just more of a moisturizing kind of formula and I love it and lastly I'm just gonna set my face and I have the master fix by face studio wear boosting setting spray and by the way this is really really nice and there's a lot of product in the bottle And this is the end result. I actually am really digging this look. I, like I said, I love Maybelline products. I think, I, I can't even pick a favorite because I just love them all. Honestly, Maybelline is such a great brand. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment down below and let me know what your favorite Maybelline products are or what are you tr wanting to try and have you tried this? Do you like it? Let me know. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one brand tutorial. I love doing these kinds of things. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys very much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I wish I could listen to music while filming while still talking to you guys. Like, ugh, damn copyright, man. I would also love this pimple to go away. I keep forgetting. I need to drink this before I go to the gym. I just bought a new one. Did the lights just go off? Did anyone?